Hey guys, today I have a good one for you. I wanna talk about and review the Pure Fidelity Harmony Turntable. This is a high-end heirloom quality table. And I'm gonna show you first the amazing packaging at fast speed, it's gonna go really quick, that Pure Fidelity has created for this table. Then I'm gonna assemble the table for you as I talk about each part. And then I'm gonna tell you what this table sounds like. So let's take a look. It's all right here in this video right now. Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Pure Fidelity Harmony turntable. I'm going to assemble it right here uh, on camera for you to show how simple it is to assemble this table. Um, this is actually a special turntable. It's one of those that will be your last turntable. If you're into vinyl, you have a record collection, um, you like spinning discs, and you want a high quality table, an heirloom quality table. Uh, as Pure Fidelity says, this is the table that you want to take a serious look at. I'm going to assemble it here, but we're going to start out right here. This is the isolation platform. Uh, this is what the plinth will sit into. Now, this is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. And uh, on the bottom, you have some isoacoustics feet, which were specially made just for this table. This thing is pretty hefty. Um, I don't have a scale here, but maybe 20 pounds, maybe? I, I, I'm not 100% sure. This is a very special part of the Harmony table because in essence, it will eliminate any vibrations. So there will be no vibrations getting to the needle, getting to your cartridge and outputting any kind of noise. There'll be no skipping, right? This will keep the table rock solid. And in fact, I put it to the test while it was playing uh, I jumped in front of it, I um, opened and closed and slammed my cabinet door. And not only did it not skip, there were no noises, nothing at all out of the ordinary. It still was playing amazing music. So this right here is an important part of the harmony. This is what we would expect in a higher end table. Let me get the plinth and I'll place the plinth right here to show you what that looks like. So here is the plinth, right? It's signed on the bottom by John Stratton, the guy who designs this table, builds this table, made in Canada, this table fully. Here's the front. You will see where the platter goes. It's kind of uh, recessed down into the Ultra MDF plinth. This is made out of Ultra MDF. We're gonna set it right here. It fits right into the isolation platform. So now we already have a unit here that is set up for vibration free playback right so let's take the sub platter which is right here the sub platter is also made of aircraft grade aluminum now when assembling this table you will want to put the bearing right there and it comes with a ruby bearing now john says the ruby bearing costs a hundred times as much as a steel bearing that most turntables use but this ruby bearing um, is pretty cool and it will last a lot longer than a steel bearing. So a ruby bearing goes right there 
you put a few drops of the included oil in and we place the sub platter on to the plinth. So we have two belts that come with the turntable. So you basically want to wrap that around the sub platter, hook it into the little pulley. Again, we're going to put the second belt on. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get these suckers on, but once you get it on, they'll stay on. Get in there. You little guy. Okay, then give it a few spins. It will center the belts and you'll be ready to place the platter on. So we have now the 48 millimeter Delrin platter. This is made out of Delrin. It's not made out of aluminum. It's not made out of glass. Um, some turntables use glass platters, Rega. Uh, they believe in a low mass uh, design. Some brands, I've seen VPI, for example, use aluminum platters and those can cause, they can cause ringing, right? So Delrin, uh, is said to give the most musical performance, the most organic performance. Uh, and I tend to agree, you don't need to use a mat with Delrin either. Uh, it's really the perfect material for a turntable. So we set the platter on, we give it a spin and it is silent. There's no rubbing, there's no noise. That is awesome. Okay, so this is the Origin Live Illustrious SE made for pure fidelity um, and it's quite the arm. It's, this is the nicest arm I've ever had uh, in here or reviewed and it is it does have captive cables so it does have RCAs directly onto the arm and to install this it's quite simple. We basically make sure these cables are not tangled up in any way. I'll feed the ground cable through the arm hole here, like so. And there it is out the bottom. I'll feed one of the RCAs in, and there it comes out the bottom. And then I will take the other RCA, making sure it's not tangled up, and we will put that through. We then just lower everything into the arm hole like so. And I already have the VTA set on this one, but it's a matter of just turning this dial here. And you want to make sure your arm is level to the platter, right? You don't want the back end tilted up. You don't want the front end tilted up unless you're trying to tweak the sound. You want that arm to be level, right? So now that that arm is in, I'm just going to tighten this one little screw. And that's it, the arm is now in and ready to go. I do have the cartridge already installed. It took me about 10 minutes to install the cartridge. It's real easy to set up um, if you have the right tools. So this turntable does ship with the tools to set up your cartridge. So everything's included in the box. Now, lastly, we have a record weight um, specifically made for this turntable by Pure Fidelity. It's really nice, it's solid, has a bunch of ball bearings on the bottom as well. When you have a record on there, you place the weight and if the record has any kind of slight warp, it might help to flatten it out. So that works really well. There's also anti-skate here and that's really easy to set up as well. It's all in the manual. Let's talk about the sound of the Pure Fidelity Harmony. I really want to talk about what sets this apart in the sound department versus the other tables I have had. And I'm not talking necessarily about the cartridge, which is the Stratos cartridge right here. This cartridge is Pure Fidelity's own cartridge. I think it comes in at around $2,000. But the sound of this is amazing, organic, huge sound stage. The details, like I've never heard with vinyl personally, I'm sure many of you have, um, the imaging is top notch. It has an organic, bloomy kind of vibe, but it's not warm or dull. This is a fantastic cartridge. It's a low output moving coil, but man, this is the nicest cartridge I've ever heard when it comes to analog playback. So let's talk about the sound of the Pure Fidelity. 
So the sound of the Pure Fidelity Harmony turntable. I've had quite a few turntables in here. My favorites have been the VPI Prime, which was a lovely table. Uh, the Clear Audio Performance DC with tracer arm. That was technically a beautiful table. I'll talk a little bit about the sound of those. I've recently had the Luxman PD-151. Beautiful table, but extremely big, right? That was a big table. The Dr. Feichert Volare in Walnut. I had that with a Koetsu Black, and that is one of my favorite tables as well. So how does the Pure Fidelity Harmony uh, stack up to those tables? Well, first of all, the Pure Fidelity is a super high-end turntable. While there's turntables that come in at much higher prices, there are turntables that are $100,000 or more. There are turntables that are $50,000. The Pure Fidelity is nowhere near that price point, but it is a high-end table and does come in for more, depending on the options you pick, the arm you pick, etc., cetera, um, than the tables I've had in the past. So I was expecting big things from the Pure Fidelity Harmony. And I'll just tell you right now, I was not disappointed. Once I installed it in the system, I hooked up the output, the RCAs, to the integrated amp I have here right now, which is an AVIC U150. Now the U150 has a world-class phono stage built in it, and it's among the finest phono stages I've heard, even when comparing them to three, $4,000 external phono stages, right? It's very easy to configure for the cartridge. This is a low output moving coil. Uh, on the AVIC, I was using 71 to 73 dB of gain, the good thing about the AVIC is there's zero noise in that phono preamp, so I can use all the gain I need without getting the noise, right? So I plugged it in, I think I set the gain to 73 dB, and I started playing records that I'm familiar with, even uh, old records that I have had since I have been a teenager. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to listen to an album every night in my bedroom, and each week I would walk to the record store and I would browse records. It was, it was a ritual, an experience for me, right? And I would find these records, one record a week, and I'd bring it home and I'd listen to it front to back, probably for four days out of the next following seven days, and I would repeat that process. This record player, this turntable, the Pure Fidelity Harmony brought me back to that time. It brought me back to those memories. And I will say I have a full written review where I talk more about that time at my website. I have a written review of the Harmony there. I'll put a link in the description below. But um, this turntable brought me back to those days. And I found myself listening every night in my listening room to one record front to back. And I started to rediscover my Moody Blues album collection. I have all of their old records, uh, and some of them are from when I was 16. Um, and I remember back listening to these albums uh, as a teenager, and uh, listening now, the experience is just so much more evolved with the harmony, uh, the sound stage is super wide, super tall, there's depth to it. Um, there's silence from this turntable. This turntable makes zero noise. In the past, I've had tables that made uh, humming from the motor. I've had tables where the, uh, or, or tables where the platter rubbed. I've had um, issues with other tables when it comes to vibrations. The Pure Fidelity Harmony is dead silent. Uh, and again, I talked about the vibrations. You're not gonna get any of that due to the isolation of this table. And that's a very important thing. Um, the speed is stable and rock solid thanks to the conductor speed control. But as I sat back and listened to these classic albums, right? Uh, a couple of them are original pressings. Um, I, I was just blown away at the richness, the organic nature, the dead silence I'm used to that with my digital, with sounds emerging from that inky blackness, right? And the truth is, the more noise you take out of your system, the better your system is going to sound, the more effortless. And the harmony did just that. It sounded effortless, and it was creating music in, I wanna say, a magical way. I, I wanna say that the, the combo of the Stratos cart and the Harmony turntable. It's a match made in heaven, though that cartridge also sounded fantastic on the Luxman PD-151. 
um, same character, that organic nature, that free-flowing, effortless sound. The bass of the harmony is on another level. Now, when I had the VPI Prime, I thought I was hearing some fantastic bass. That table, and I think it was with a Clear Audio Maestro card at the time, delivered just bass that I couldn't believe and vocal performance. Um, I had a, a motor issue with that table though, so they had to swap out the motor. The motor was buzzing and humming, um, but that was a fantastic table as well. Over time, I thought the highs were a little subdued with that combination, but it's, it's always a synergy thing. With the harmony, I'm getting that fantastic bass, that boom, and it's tight, it's controlled. The mid-range is silky and uh, human and warmish, right? The vocals come out just like with my $30,000 DAC stack from DCS. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of clicks and pops with vinyl, but to me that just adds to the character. And that was taking me back to those nights when I was 16, 17 and listening to the same album in my room um, with those clicks and pops. I will say though that playing old records, old vinyl on the Harmony and the Stratos cart, the ticks and pops are really reduced to a minimum. They're not nearly as pronounced as I remember them, so it's still a really enjoyable listening experience if you have old albums uh, with a little, you know, that, that have been worn out a little bit. Now, it's always recommended to make sure you play clean records on your turntable, but I was playing old records, new records, um, quality pressings, right? Uh, and they all sounded really good. In fact, some of my old records that used to sound flat on some other tables really were brought to life by the Stratos cart and the table. And I believe it's because of that isolation platform, the isolation feet. Uh, everything, every little detail here has been looked at from the ruby bearing to the beautiful sub platter that has been machined to perfection, the Delrin platter that has been made to perfection. This is really an heirloom quality turntable, which is what Pure Fidelity markets them as. And, uh, you know, I was skeptical because they're not the cheapest, they're not the most inexpensive things to get into. Uh, these Harmony turntables, but this is the flagship from Pure Fidelity. Pure Fidelity does sell lower end, more affordable turntables, but you lose things like the isolation platform, etc. The Harmonies, they're top of the heap, and you know that as uh, soon as you put it together, as soon as you start listening to it, it's really a magical combo. I would highly recommend the Stratos cart with the Harmony as well, because the cartridge mates so well to the table and it just has such a beautiful musical sound. Everything is there, nothing is missing. It showed me what my records could sound like and I wanna say also showed me what they could feel like because I was feeling that connection to the music and that's what we all look for. If you want your last turntable or you're looking for that and you don't want one of those tables that look robotic and futuristic because there's a lot of tables like that they're all metal and they're trying to you know look all fancy some of those look really cool the harmony is more about that classic vibe and the classic look what a turntable really should look like in my opinion but i come from the old school back in the 70s and 80s uh, when turntables were king right so thumbs up two thumbs up for the pure fidelity harmony Give it a look, give it an audition if you can. It comes in different finishes, quilted maple, uh, the rosewood as I have here, walnut, I think it comes in black and white as well. Um, so I'll put a link in the description below to the Pure Fidelity website. So I'll say it again, I have no affiliation with Pure Fidelity, I'm not making any money from this review. My reviews are done from the heart. It's a passion project what I do here and uh, I can highly recommend the Pure Fidelity Harmony if it's within your budget, it's a serious investment, but it's also a serious turntable, one that can last for generations, and that's no joke. So let's not forget that Pure Fidelity sent me an extra uh, Stratos cartridge to give away, and I'm gonna give that away in my next video because the next video is going to be all about the cartridge, and I will have a link for you to join and enter the giveaway, and after 30 days, the system will randomly pick a winner, and I will announce the winner and ship you your new 
Stratos cartridge. So pretty cool that Pure Fidelity did this for you guys. Brand new in the box, unopened, and uh, they donated this. They said, here, we're gonna send you this cartridge. You can give it away to one of your viewers. So look out for the next video on the cartridge and I will be giving it away to one of you here. I thank you all, I love you all, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one.